Recently, in mid-October, photos emerged of a Chinese naval aviation bomber, the H-6N, carrying a huge missile. Even though rumors and schematics of H-6 carrying large space launch rockets or ballistic missiles have been going on for a few years, this marks the first time an actual missile was photographed underneath the plane, confirming the whole deal. While the imagery is of low resolution, certain features and dimensions can be ascertained. The tip of the missile is pointy, which is useful for atmospheric flight or re-entry into atmosphere. Space launch rockets would have blunt noses. Small wings are apparent near the tip, which should in fact be wings of the upper stage of the missile. The rest of the missile is likely to be the booster section. Missile's dimensions can be roughly estimated, as they can be compared to the known H-6 bomber dimensions. Then, estimating those, weight can be extrapolated from the whole slew of known missiles of similar dimensions. These estimates would comfortably put it at the very top of the list of biggest and heaviest air-launched anti-ship missiles in history. Closest one would be a Soviet anti-ship missile from the Cold War, which weighed close to 6 tons. Biggest US air-launched missiles were ones for fixed ground targets, with nuclear warheads. That includes a one-off test of the Minuteman ICBM, launched from a C-5 cargo plane. Being roughly similar in size to the already in-service missile, the Chinese DF-21D, it's likely their base range, if both would be launched from the ground, would be roughly similar. So roughly 2000 kilometers, which is a pretty long reach to begin with. But since the missile is launched from a considerable altitude, it doesn't have to fight its way through the thick atmosphere. The bomber basically acts as an additional booster stage that would likely add at least several hundred kilometers to its base range. But that's not all. The ground-based launcher is limited by, well, ground. The bomber can go past the Chinese shores and over the neighboring seas. So the actual launch point of the mystery missile would add even more range advantage over the ground-based sibling. The mystery missile is not the biggest anti-ship missile China has. DF-26, a ground-launch ballistic missile, has that honor with its anti-ship variant. The mystery missile might be a development of the DF-21D, but there do seem to be slight differences in size and fins. What other benefits would an air-launched missile have? The ground-launched ones, while mobile via their trucks, are still of limited mobility. To maximize their range, they still need to be placed in very specific parts of the country. Their travel time to those parts of the country, if China wants to group many of them together, may take upward of half a day. So they would not be as quick to react and their launch position might be more predictable and thus they might be in bigger danger. Compared to that, planes launching big missiles could be based very far inland, out of reach of US cruise missiles. And they could still reach their launch point within two or so hours. For time-sensitive targets, such as ships, which can themselves move over 90 kilometers within those two hours, that would constitute much higher chances of actually keeping the ships under threat. Another possible implication of proliferation of these very long-reach anti-ship missiles is Chinese confidence in their detection and tracking abilities against contacts far out in the ocean. Without platforms capable of that, the long-range missiles would have no sense at all. While well, the question of just how capable have Chinese tracking capabilities grown is too complex for this video, China has been launching more and more various satellites over the years. For some years now, its government has been launching more such satellites than the US government. Do check out our satellite space race video. And another notable development was the very recent launch of another Chinese geostationary high-resolution optical recon satellite. No other country has been investing in high-res geostationary satellites, which can stare at a large swath of Earth or ocean without interruptions. Unlike the first satellite, this one has quite useful resolution. A network of several such platforms, coupled with the already robust Chinese satellite fleet, might indeed offer unprecedented maritime tracking abilities, far surpassing anything ever deployed during the Cold War. To wrap it up, much is yet unknown about the mystery missile. Indeed, the photographs are so low quality that it could be anything from a mock-up to a missile sporting not a regular maneuvering re-entry warhead, but a hypersonic glider warhead. The latter would be more problematic to intercept, as it would be weaving around, and its low, still atmospheric flying trajectory would make it both harder to track and harder to engage with specialized exo-atmospheric missile interceptors, such as the US SM-3. 
which doesn't work as well until the atmosphere is quite thin at higher altitudes. Whatever the real capabilities of the missiles are, it is clear the race between the anti-ship missile and the large naval targets is heating up, and there is no telling where it could all lead. Thanks for watching. If you liked my video, subscribe to my channel. If you want to receive notifications from YouTube about new videos released, you have to click that bell button. If you're using a mobile device, you'll get this prompt. And remember, Binkov may talk about hypothetical wars, but only real peace can bring us all together.